Oh, Taurus, Venus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. This is going to be our monthly reading for July of 2024, and I do want to, again, let you know that this is for Taurus Venus. I've already posted for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. Taurus North Node, I will be posting shortly that monthly reading, but this is specifically for Taurus Venus placements. All right, let's get into it. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for my Taurus Venus? Show me clearly, please. What is the overall energy for July 2024 for my Taurus Venus placements? Whoa, okay. All right, my loves. Wow, you've got grounding. Very, 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 very cool. Um, as an Earth sign, for sure, um, and as a Taurus of Venus, for sure, we do need to make sure that we are grounded, right? Grounded in this earthly realm. And I feel like this is definitely a month for you to, this is coming through strongly, enjoy nature, okay? Enjoy nature, get out there, get barefoot out there, go hiking, go swimming, go whatever you can do to ground yourself, okay? Um, touch a tree, go outside and touch a tree. That's a great way to ground. Um, because what you are doing is you are anchoring in, right, this beautiful elixir of life, which is at the bottom of the deck, right? This is like, for me, this is like all the aces in one, okay? The elixir of life, that's what they're showing me. The ace of pentacles, right? The money, the resources, the ace of wands, the inspiration right and the excitement the ace of cups the love the creativity the ace of swords the clarity and the truth right so you're grounding in some big successes in your life and remember taurus venus placements venus rules taurus and it's about love and money it's about the experiences so you're about to ground in very exciting new manifestations okay trips homes love money career this is the month where you're really absorbing it okay it's not just in the dreamy it's like i'm pulling it down from the ethers to the reality right that we live in here it's really quite beautiful so Let's see what else we have for my Taurus Venus. Angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly for Taurus Venus for July 2024. Um, I also want to quickly mention this too. If you have not joined our Taurus Inspiration membership here on YouTube, it's a paid monthly membership, uh, you should because not only do we do different types of readings over there, but recently I've just started and it's been a huge success over there, um, we're removing blocks, money blocks, this block, that block. So almost daily, we are posting a video of the sacred geometry to help remove those blocks. And then we do a quick five minute meditation together, um, which has been super beneficial. So if you are interested in being a part of that, there is a join button and also it is now in the description box, okay? So let's see what we have for the just absolutely beautiful elixir of life that you are going to be experiencing here July 2024. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. The Queen of Pentacles, you are truly, truly nurturing yourself and grounding yourself. Okay, so you're enjoying life in July by being outdoors, doing those kind of activities that Taurus loves to do. You know, gardening. Like I said before, uh, camping, wh whatever that grounded thing is. And this helps you, again, to enjoy that elixir of life, to um, grow this pentacle, right? Even more, to have more luxurious things in life. Not just things, but experiences, right? I love that. Show me clearly. Definitely taking time for you and the things that you enjoy. Show me clearly. What is the message? Show me clearly. Um, 
one of the things that I love to do that you may or may not know I've talked about before is, well, I live in New Orleans in the French Quarter, so, you know, not a lot of grass rate exactly here. Um, we do have the parks, and those are great. But when I really want to get away and really ground myself, I go to a little Airbnb in Mississippi that is a small farm. And I get to be with the horses and be with the dogs and be with the chickens and all that and be barefoot all day long. So maybe some of you would be taking a little vacation for yourself, right? That rejuvenates you. Um, the King of Wands, there, see, we're starting to see all the different suits too, right? So here's the take charge action that you're doing. Um, here's my, my new inspiration. I'm going to ground those inspirations in. I'm going to take action with them. I'm going to enjoy life in a big way. I'm going to understand that with the judgment card, I'm being rebirthed. I'm being called up. I'm being called to live a different life, right? A more abundant life here. Some of you, this is changing careers. This is moving. This is... Um, Opening a business, finding a passionate love that is grounded, but yet very passionate, right? I hate to say it this way because I don't want to get, you know, YouTube police on me, but, you know, the, the love and the sex, right? <laughs> the, the comfort and the sex, and that's not for everybody. I know a lot of you aren't even focused on that, but it's like definitely the elixir of life here. Show me clearly for Taurus, Venus. If you're in a relationship, it could be sparking that back up again, right? A lot of readers out there are calling this the summer of love too, right? Look at that. See, I called the aces. There is new clarity that you are gaining. There is new inspiration, clarity, nurturing you are gaining. I love the ace of swords because it is a card of victory. It's living in your truth. It's starting fresh and going, nope, I'm going to make some changes here. It's it's understanding that you do have all four aces, right? That you have, or all four suits, I should say. You have the elements to be that magician, to really enjoy life. I love it. Show me clearly. Oh, okay. Yep. No longer... Are you going to take on more than you should, right? You're not taking on more than you should. And I love that because as Taurus, we tend to take on other people's responsibilities too, thinking that we're helping or thinking that it's ours. You're clearing that air. You're putting that stuff down. A lot of you are taking time off again from your day-to-day -day life to go on that mini vacation, to enjoy life at the fullest. And if you don't know and you're new, thank you for being new. But then the Nine of Pentacles comes out, and that is my favorite card in tarot because it talks very much about having it all, okay? It's, I know it's not, okay, <laughs> let me try to get them to have me phrase this right. It is a card of independence, but that doesn't mean if you're looking for love that you would be single. It means that, we are so in love with ourselves. We can manifest so much for ourselves. We can live the life of luxury. The Nine of Pentacles is the life of luxury, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that we have to be alone. So for those of you with the relationship, it just means respecting that we're still individuals as we come into one, right? As we come into uh, romantic relationships, we're still... It's like that other person respects your individuality. But overall, Taurus Venus, this is like, boom, this is the goal, right? This is being able to afford going on that vacation. This is being able to be uh, an entrepreneur or choose a different career. This is the ability to nurture yourself, to enjoy that elixir of life. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Anchoring it in. Again, anchoring it in. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? 
Venus placements. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus Venus? Show me clearly, please. Oh my goodness. All right. I wasn't going to take them because there's so many, but they said take them. Oh, Felix Felicia is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's the power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Opportunities are going to come in, right, that you would be surprised at. You get an invite out. You get asked out on a date. You get an offer of this, that, the other. Very, very abundant time for you. Yeah. Self-confidence, you have strong self-belief and a sense of worth. That is that nine of pentacles, right? And you have star. The silver, yeah, look at this. The silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. We have luck and serendipity twice. Because you're doing that grounding work, right? I'm telling you, there are going to be events that unfold that you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I can't believe this opportunity came in. I can't believe I'm going on this vacation. It's just all coming together, right? The elixir of life. I love it. So Taurus, Venus, with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Come join us over at Taurus Inspiration. All of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.